A bitter debate tied to some sweet baked goods. Complaints are now aimed at a drug treatment program that pulls in about a million dollars in cash a year selling flans and cakes. Eight on your side investigator Watt Buteau has details. Recovering drug addicts sell these flans and cakes in parking lots across the Bay Area in exchange for living in a residential drug treatment program. Organizers say it's therapeutic, but critics claim the focus is on money, not treatment. Jesse Frey sells flans and cakes to earn his keep in the Hogar Reza drug treatment program. Our facilities have been open for 13 years now. Yeah. Is, uh, we're addicts, for addicts. We're a purely nonprofit and faith based organization. The donations received for baked goods across the Bay Area bring in about a million dollars a year in cash, according to Hogar Reza leaders. But more than a dozen former clients sat down with us, claiming sales are valued more than treatment. Jose Lopez tells me the pace pushed him away from recovery. It was difficult, you know. Being able to control my addiction because that constant pressure of having to sell cakes every day. It was like a work camp. Um, just uh, there's no therapies involved. It's just sell, sell, sell. We'd get screamed at if we didn't sell the cakes. Hey, Carmen, it's Walt from Channel 8. How are you? After several requests, Hogar Reza did sit down with me denying anyone is overworked. There's many individuals that don't want to move forward. We also asked about complaints. There is no way to examine how Hogar Reza spends its donations because the nonprofit has not filed a tax return since it was founded in 2014. One former employee who asked not to be identified tells me they filed a complaint with the IRS about Hogar Reza. Why haven't you filed your tax returns? Everything is being um, kind of under a microscope to make sure that all these paperwork and everything is set um, in place because there's absolutely nothing that we need to hide at all. Hogar Reza also tells us the organization almost went under during the pandemic. The IRS would neither confirm nor deny that a complaint was filed against that nonprofit. In the newsroom, Walt Butow, 8 on your side. If you have something you want Walt to investigate, call our 8 in your side helpline 1-800-338-0808.